Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Hashtag Behind Relationship Goals. That's Bones. And that's Fofo. Ah, we jump in and dive straight into the episode. We have quite the headline for today's topic. Bonizi, ako na. Ako na. The topic for today is Bonizi. Are we ever going to have kids? Dum dum dum. I was about to do that. <laughs> it's funny that this is our uh, podcast episode topic because it's something that we've talked about during the pandemic, diba? I'm... We talked about it multiple times on the podcast. Like I'm so restless. There's so much to talk about. No, there is. There is. So let's just go back. So before we would talk about when are we gonna have kids. So that's a completely different question. <laughs> From this one, which is, are we ever going to have kids? Because oh, yeah. before, parang the thought of having kids was like, yeah, we're going to have kids. But the question was when. And now... Should I have phrased it that way? Why not? Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a question that, you know, is constantly brought up nowadays between couples, especially a lot of couples our age, na do we want to bring a child into this world? Is this something... That, <laughs> that we want to be a part of our life, diba? Right? So I think these are valid questions that couples should ask each other, whether you're married, engaged, or mag boyfriend and girlfriend. Kailangan alam niyo yun. And the reason why I thought about this, so Bonizi did not know of the podcast topic. No, he was just like, we're going to podcast she today. She found out literally two minutes ago before yeah. we started the recording. Um, and the reason why I decided let's use this as our topic today is because I asked her Couple nights for ago? the past three weeks every week. Oh, did you? We I would discuss it. I realized I didn't even think about it. And it would also pop up in our feed, like our, yeah. know, our Instagram, our Facebook, parang topics. So, there are a lot life prompt. So, parang I would see a friend, you know, discussing, you know, his decision to have kids and then what it felt like and what it possibly would have felt like if they didn't have kids. And then we would talk about it. Yeah. And then like three weeks ago, I randomly thought about it, so I asked Bones again. So it's such an ongoing discussion na ang daming lumalabas yeah. na thoughts and ideas and stories. So I decided, you know what, this is such a rich topic and I think it's very, um, I think it's very timely, especially for people who are our age mm. and those who are growing up now, yeah. getting into deeper relationships, getting married. So it's time we dive in. Intro pa lang, di ba? Ang dami nang nasabi. Okay, so uh, before we go into what you're thinking of, this is a question that a lot of people ask me. Kasi syempre, as the woman and, oh, yeah. and as the person that has the capacity to give birth, I am the person that they ask, diba? So, is this something that a lot of people ask you? You know what? Yes. Madami rin nagtatanong. But now that you say that, I think that you get bombarded with that question way more. So, I would say at least two times more. Just feeling ko lang. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I was at an event yesterday and I had a couple of people ask me already in various ways. So, it ranges from... Uh, one person going, I hope you don't mind me asking and I hope you don't get offended. But I was just curious about, you know, are you and Mikael planning to have kids? And then there's another side to it where they're like, kailan kayo magkakababy? So it, it varies depending on the personality of the person asking. But I feel like no matter which way I'm asked about it, I already have a way to respond. You're ready. You're prepared to respond. But there's always a common way that I answer. Like if I get tired of having kids. Okay, so okay, two things. Before you get to that answer, around how many times were you asked last night? Yesterday, around maybe like five times. Oh, dame. Yeah. Dame. Okay. And then disclaimer, my second point before you get to that answer. Disclaimer is you can ask us anytime. Yeah. It, we do not mind. It yeah. is okay. I know okay. some other people are sensitive, but if you guys see us, oh, no, baby, na ba? Pwede. Okay yeah, lang. I mean, it's fine. Even though I was asked five times, it really doesn't bother me because I'll just answer naman. Yeah. Given that, Bonizi, what would your answer be to those questions? My answer to those questions would be if we have kids, then we have kids. And if we don't, then we don't. 
so if I get pregnant, okay. And then if not, then we just continue living life. Is there any prodding or follow-up questions that people would ask? Mm, in terms of follow-up questions, some people are curious to why that's our point of view because I uh -huh. guess it's not normal or it's not like a common thing for couples to be like, oh yeah, well, like we're fine even if we don't have kids. Usually it's like, yeah, we're trying or yeah, we really want to have kids or it's always sometimes like maybe like in the next couple of years but for them to hear na oh they might actually be okay without kids bang, it's a bit of a shock to some people so they're curious as to why that's our point of view and that's also why we're making this podcast episode because of the curiosity of people mm. and on my side um my answer to that question is very similar to yours i say look we're going with the flow and it's really all up to bones because like you said, you are the baby carrier. Yes. And I just tell them that I'm here to support. Siya yung carry sa team namin. Ako yung support lang. Yeah. Support and tank. Tank. Oh, uh, yung money tank and support ako yun. Akala ko marksman kayo. <laughs> 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 marksman and then nagiging support. <laughs> Loko ka. Hindi ba ako yung tank? <laughs> ko yung carry. Yeah, ako yung carry. ADL carry, carry ka. Okay. okay, anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> Gaming comparisons aside, I just tell them that it's all up to bones. And sometimes I say that it's a constant conversation between us. Uh, right now, we go with the flow. If ever there's an oops and you get pregnant, then okay, great. That's not a problem with us. But if we had a choice, then we're kind of okay just coasting along and living our life and seeing what life throws at us. Grabe, no? Parang I never thought we'd get to this point. Parang, I think when we were dating, palang, I would think about, I wonder what our future as husband and wife is going to be like. Like when we were engaged, I was thinking that. And I wonder what kind of family life we'll have. Because I remember you saying that you wanted a lot of kids. Oh, I, yeah. always, I always thought, na, yeah, I'll probably have like one or two. But I think it's only when we got married and we started seeing life for what it was, the pandemic happened. Parang dun ko lang naisip na, mm, parang hindi ako sure kung gusto ko magka-baby. You know, okay, Bones, this is a really nice setup. So why don't we kind of throw back and share and try to remember what our thoughts were regarding having a family maybe eight years ago, six years ago. Mm. And then how we think now and why there was such a big change. So you're right. I did tell Bones that because I come from such a big family, we're nine siblings. I was like, yeah, I want to have a lot of kids, as many as we can. That's gonna be so much fun. Sinabi ko talaga ang kapal na mukha mo. But to that point, I mean, <laughs> we were like just a couple of years together. I had yeah. never really thought of what it meant to have that many kids. Yeah, and, and then now my mindset has completely changed. And for you, Bones, what was your mindset then? My mindset was just like, yeah, I guess it's normal for couples to get married and have kids. I just thought of the very um, cookie cutter image yeah, of a no. family. Get yeah. married, have kids, live your life. Yeah, and then you're supposed to have kids. Parang yun yun nasa isip ko. Okay. But I, you know, I do have a an uncle, uh, yung kapatid ng daddy ko, na wala silang anak na asawa niya. Kasi ayaw ng asawa niya na magkaanak. So okay. up until now, silang dalawa lang, and you know, they're living the li their life the way that they want to. Okay, Bonizi. Now let's move to the present. Why did things change for us? Why did our mindset and how we think about this concept suddenly change? Because I think that for a lot of people and a lot of people our age, the mm -hmm. millennials out there, the Gen Zers growing up, you're going through this change or you had just gone through it. Yeah. And some of us might not realize why it happened. So can you think about why? I think it's more of discovering what I wanted for my own life. Okay. Parang they always say na figure out what you want and it'll make you happy, de ba? Yeah. And although I, you know, a lot of people tell me na iba yung saya kapag nagkaanak ka, iba yung saya kapag ano meron kang sariling anak kayo ni Fofo makikita niyo yung sarili niyo sa mga anak niyo. When I really thought about it, parang I didn't know if that was something that I wanted. I didn't know if, okay, do I really want to bring a child into this world and teach them 
you know, bring up this child with the certain values that I'm going to teach them? Is that something that I want to focus on in my life? Or do I want to just live life with Fofo and live life the way that we have it now? So what is it about our life? Because obviously you're saying that the reason is because mm. of the life you have with me that we have right now. Yeah. So what is it about our life? To be honest, I really enjoy the life that we have together. That it's just us. And I don't know how ready I am to take on a big responsibility like that. Because it is a responsibility. You are bringing a child into this life. You are going to teach them values. You're going to teach them the way of the world. So... Is that something that I want for the rest of my life? I'm not sure yet. But I mean, I'm not closing my doors to it. It's just something that I've been constantly thinking about. And I also think about what if we do eventually have kids and then they do watch this podcast. But I don't want them to feel that they were unwanted. But I also want them to know that they have their own choices and they can choose whatever life that they want for themselves. Okay, you know, Bonizi, I'm gonna stop you there. I noticed something already. What? You're coming from this from a very Bonizi mindset. Okay. And what I do you see mean? it what do you from mean a by... very fofo mindset. Okay. So please as explain. You, for the watchers of this podcast, you guys would already know that Bonizi is very much the conservative person here in this relationship. And ako yung mas open. Ako yung mas adventurous. Yung mm-hmm. adventurer dito sa relationship. And Bones, you said that you're hesitant to have kids and grow our family because you already like the life that you have with me mm-hmm. that we currently have. Yeah. So you're v- being very conservative and protective of what you have because the other side, having a kid, is an unknown. Yeah. So it's very bones. So here's the thing. I need, if you really want to think about this, I think you should challenge yourself to think about the flip side. Because I agree with you. I think that the life that we have right now is immensely exciting. Mm. It excites us and motivates us to wake up every day and go through our day, go through our work, reach for our goals and our dreams. But at the same time, when I think about growing a family and having kids, I can see how that could possibly excite me and motivate me as well. Okay. It might not make me feel that way right now. Yeah. But there are so many things in life that I didn't know that it was going to make me feel this way. Being with you, being with one girlfriend for 10 years, and then getting married, I didn't know that it was going to make me feel this way. I didn't know that monogamy was going to be, ah, this is cool, <laughs> life is great. But I didn't know that showbiz was going to make me feel fulfilled with my work. Yeah. So, para sa akin, instead of being hesitant because it's closed, I'm literally just thinking, okay, I'm happy here, but I'm sure that on the flip side of having kids and having a family, I'm sure I can be happy there too. Yeah. So, it's just a matter of choice. So, I don't know. So, maybe from what I heard from you, parang you were kind of like closed there. Because you were okay. protecting something. Okay. But I don't think you need to protect this. Like, you and me, we're cool. You don't need to protect that. Yeah. I think whatever comes our way, be it not having a kid or having a kid, I think we will be okay. Yeah, but don't get me wrong, huh? Just because I'm saying these things doesn't mean that I'm completely close to having kids. Like yeah. I said, if it happens that I do get pregnant, I'll be happy. And, you know, I'll let life take me where it, it yeah. should. So, I'm just saying na parang, okay... How do I see it from the perspective of if ever we don't have kids? Why would that be an okay choice also? Yeah. Because I mean, we're not trying to like stop ourselves from not getting pregnant. That's the thing. Yeah. So, I mean, if it happens, then hey, it's going to happen. Yeah. And I guess I just want to be a bit more specific. And I want you to give a couple more examples as well. So, what is it about our current and present life? that makes us so happy and motivated and to be honest with you it's our work Mm -mm. because work has been so exciting and weird and um unpredictable why weird because it's because it's unpredictable Ah, i I didn't know that life as a creative i mean i'm a creative bones it's crazy we're making a podcast i I didn't know i was gonna be this way i know i thought you were gonna be in a bank (laughs) Yes, and and then talking to my friends and my siblings, I'm always reminded of how unorthodox my life has gone compared to what I thought life would be when I was younger. And 
ultimately, I'm just extremely appreciative of that, Mm-mm. and I want to keep riding this wave because the wave is still there's still a lot of momentum behind it. So to be honest with you, I think it's that rush and that feeling of being excited to live your life. Wake up. I'm doing Running Man PH, mm-hmm. we're doing the podcast, I want to get back into vlogging. Or gaming. There's so much that we want to do. And I just don't know what changes there once we have a kid. Yeah. Once we have a child. I mean, something's going to change for Something sure. will change. It doesn't mean that that all has to go away. My body! <sighs> yeah, yeah. But uh, for you, Bones, I guess get, before we get to that body and your, uh, your fears, what about this life specifically? just tickles your fancy i love that we can just get up and go i mean of course we have oh good point of course we have to think about our pets but it's different like we can always have somebody house sit and take care of the pets that's something that we're very lucky to have but if you have a kid you can't just be like yo take care of my kid for me while i go to like another country you know it's more difficult than that because siempre your child is dependent on you. And I don't want to just leave our kid if ever we do have one. That's not something that I want to do. Okay, I noticed something. What? Mas mahirap siya if you have a kid. Yeah. Just getting up and going. Pero pwede. Pero, <laughs> yun. Pwede. Pwede. So para sa akin, parang, isn't that kind of cool? We make our reels. We're going around a different city, a foreign city, and we have a kid. I mean, for sure, it's harder. The fact that you're literally lugging around your child with you who can't walk and talk yet. I've seen, you know, Instagram reels about... And I've seen vlogs. About couples that go backpacking with their kids, that go hiking with their kids. That's baby pa talaga. So it is a possibility if you open them up to, you know, these experiences. But I think... I'm just thinking of the hard part already. That's why. I'm Which always, is very I'm bones. like, yeah, always extreme when I think about these things. I mean, I'm sure we're going to lack sleep. I'm sure we're going to be more tired. For sure. I'm sure it's going to my lower back because I'm going to fall. Especially me, no? Hello, I'm going to be carrying like a child in my belly, which is probably going to be super big. Okay, so... Before we get to your fears, where do we stand now? We've been trying to answer this question. And sa totoo lang, it's like I said, this is how we talk when I ask her this question or she brings up yeah. the topic. Ganito lang. Like, As in, we're ganito really just going lang. back and forth. We're trying to see the pros and cons. We, when someone goes too far to one side, like closing their doors, we pull each other back yeah, yeah. to the middle. Because there's no point on going to one answer and sticking to it. Eh. But because, you really have to see the different sides of yeah, everything. Yeah, and life is evolving. Yeah. Every day, life is changing. So this is kind of a conversation that we just wanted to open up and share with you guys. If you guys have any thoughts, put it down in the comment section and you know we'll address it if a part two is required. You know, it's when we talk actually, parang, this is how we talk before we go to bed. So parang, yeah. uh, I was telling Mikael about uh, Mikael nasabi ko pa? <laughs> Sino mga usap ko? Uh, I was telling Fofo about uh, how when we talk before going to bed, it's something that I wish we could talk more about in the podcast because it's so it's so real. Our like, bedtime conversations. Our bedtime conversations. Although, like, we'd have to bleep out some stuff <laughs> <laughs> here and there, obviously, because we're both adults and we, you know, like to joke around with each other. But you know, I love how honest we can be with each other just before we go to bed and have these like really real conver- kind of conversations. So we just discussed our point of view, how we feel about this, trying to take both sides of the coin, mm-hmm. uh, the answer to the question. But Bonizi, aside from that, there are some very real fears. Yeah. I actually haven't discussed any of my fears too I don't much. Know. I don't know if I've really told you about my fears about Yeah, so, okay, so why don't we voice it out? What are your fears in regards to having a kid? Which are very normal. Mm -mm. I think in terms of the pregnancy itself, because getting pregnant is always a risk, diba? Sabi nila, it's it's a choice and it's a risky thing for the human body. So, I guess I'm afraid of having complications. Mm -hmm for myself and for the child if ever we do get pregnant so th- that's like my, my number one fear is getting getting sick or 
dying, honestly, from okay. having a baby. What else? Um, my body change is something that I'm, I'm scared of because I don't know how my body will react to pregnancy. So that's a very unknown kind of thing to me. And, you know, even though I've had friends and family get pregnant, you know, in the last but couple of years. But you will have bigger belly. <laughs> don't you like that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continue. So, I don't know. Like, I'm just scared of the unknown. So, not being able to know what's going to happen to my body or how my body's going to react really scares me. Yeah, those are my initial fears. Yeah, but when you eat uh, three pancit cantons in one sitting, you also don't really know how your body's going to react 10 years later, right? That's true, but I don't eat th- like that anymore. Okay. <laughs> I used to. Yeah, but you know what? Okay, uh, on a more serious note, even me, uh, I'm afraid because except I've had quite a number of friends already who have uh, had families and gotten their partners pregnant and they've given birth. And I guess that there are maybe like uh, less than a handful who have had complications. Okay. So it's a very small percentage. I think obviously uh, healthcare now and medical care has improved significantly nowadays during our time. But that's definitely something that's on my mind. But at the same time, I don't see it much different from riding a plane, getting mm, in a car. You yeah. know how everybody says there's a point something something percent chance that you can get into a bad accident when you ride a plane or a train or a boat or yeah. a car. So for me, I mean, these are percentages and probabilities that are beyond our control. I mean, an earthquake could happen at any point and it's beyond our control. Yeah. So I try to keep that out of, uh, out of my viewpoint. Okay. And I just focus on what we can control. Because I think that going, zooming out and looking at life, I try to live life according to what I can control, right? Mm. And not according to what I don't control. Yeah. And that makes it more fulfilling and happier and less stressful and less anxiety inducing but i know that your personality also likes to focus on that yeah so i'm here to kind of remind you i mean di mo nga kontrolado wag mo nang pansinin masyado kasi wala tayong magagawa eh Mm-mm. what you can uh what is in your hands is being fit eating well yes a great great example which i think the whole philippines is aware of is ear villania arellano who is just a super mom and the squats and pull-ups and power yeah. cleans and um CrossFit training, even while she's pregnant, a week after she gives birth, the day before she's going to give birth. <laughs> it's, it's insane. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't it's absolutely that. amazing to see. Um, but diba, there is a blueprint for it that you can try Mm-mm. to hopefully mitigate risks down the line. Mm-mm. So that's something you can control. So that's up to you. We've had friends also tell us that they've done like tests to check their fertility, to yeah. check if they're compatible with their partner in terms of having children. Is that something that you think we should do? Let's I mean, do it. I'm curious. Let's I'm really go. curious. I want to do it. Because I'm my period's regular. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm also curious to see how my body, you know, like what's in my, my DNA and all that. So, we should take a test like that. Okay, we will. Okay, so we've covered quite a lot of topics already. Mm-hmm. So why don't we repeat the question? Are we ever going to have kids? And my answer will be, if we do, then we do. And if we don't, then we don't. Yeah, so I guess to kind of just wrap things up uh, neatly and summarize our answer, it really still remains. Um, We had a nice conversation. We brought up some new topics, which we've never talked about. Yeah. But come what may. Come what may. Um, this year, maybe, sana wag muna. Yeah. Kasi <laughs> we have a couple of things lined up already for this year. But I told Bones na next year, if it happens, then it happens. And we'll just let it be. So I don't know if that means we're trying, but we're definitely not. We're not. Not trying. We're not not trying, but we're also not avoiding. Yes. So... But you know what? Before we end, I actually remembered that there's an Instagram post that Ponizi and I read that mm. I think is very, very interesting. It's 
very outside the cultural norms of the Philippines, but mm. I think it's something that's nice to read. So um, you wanna try reading that? Yeah. So as Bonizi looks for this, I think it's really important, at least for me and Bones, to always take in different points of view mm. so that you have different points to think about. And it really challenges you to step out of your comfort zone and try to see life differently, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think that being able to expand how you view things ultimately helps you make better and more level-headed decisions. Okay, so this was a Reddit post that somebody uh, reposted on Instagram from the thread Child Free. And it's from an 85-year-old widow who experienced life child-free with her husband. And she talks about her observations about the different kinds of couples and families. So group A would be they have kids, they have a great life, and all is perfect. She knows many, so it can and does happen. Group B is they have kids, it is a hard life, and they have problems. Many wish they could have a child-free do-over. And then group C is they have kids, all is good, but then the empty nest and dwindling contact breaks their hearts. Group D is the child-free group, and she only knows a couple. She can't give breakdowns and percentages of all the groups, but the bottom line is, in her experience, group D is always the happiest and most content. Of course, there are many happy people from group A as well. What are your feelings towards this? I mean, honestly, people choose to live their lives different ways, Fofo. Yeah. I mean, you can't really, you can't take it against them. If they want to have a certain lifestyle, if they want to have X amount of kids in their life, whether that's zero to however n many number they want, that's their decision, diba? Right? And if that's what makes them happy, whether it makes them happy or not, it's your decision nila sa buhay nila. And you can't, you can't do anything with that, Fofo. Ako, Bones, ultimately, when you gave me those four groups, it seems like people only veer towards A, B, and C, which involves having a kid. Mm -mm. But I think that also stems from the cultural and societal pressures that when you get married, you need to have kids. Mm. But the thing is, you and I are also acutely aware that having kids is... Not the easiest thing, especially financially. And not everybody yeah. is financially secure. Not everybody is uh, mentally and emotionally prepared to have uh, kids right away. Mm -hmm. So for me, for those feeling a bit of pressure, I think it's okay to really step back and really look at different points of view and have a real discussion with those who matter, yeah. which is your partner, possibly your family and your parents. Because... It is a huge change and there are people who get into it and eventually have a kid and maybe they were thinking, I think it would have been a lot easier on us mentally and emotionally and financially if we had it maybe like a couple of years yeah. later. So given all of that, I think it's clear to say that although we've had a lot of conversations about this, I think there are so many other points of view which we can gather and listen to to just be more aware of what are the possible scenarios and ideas to think about in regards to this question is which is are we ever going to have kids so yeah. if you guys have something to share opinions to share then a of point course, of view you're always willing to listen and discuss even more on this podcast you can leave it down in the comment section and before we end i might as well end on a bombshell question which you don't know about ah. ko lang ngayon. Ah. bones what do you think about adoption ah yeah, uh, I've never thought about that. Really? I've never Okay, so about that. super short, quick answer. We'll get into it on another podcast if we think it need be. Thoughts? I think it goes back to do we want to have kids or not? It goes back to that question. Yeah, but okay, that aside, what do you think of adoption? Is it something you're open to? Yes, it's something I'm open to. Ah, okay. So that's as short an answer as I wanted because. When I thought about that question, I also ended up with the same answer. Why not? I'm open to it. And with that, we have come to the end of the podcast. This is Behind Relationship Goals. I am Fofo. And I'm Bones. Bye, guys.